We left Cuba because we wanted a better life so I could dream and have a better education here. The education here and in Cuba are two different things. In here, the education is so broad, you can learn whatever you want. There was a lot of challenges that I faced when I came, but I think the number one, this, the hardest one for me was um, trying to learn the new language and um, the culture. I became part of ESL when I was in fifth grade, right when I came to the United States. I remember when Carol arrived in Gaston County Schools. He arrived from Cuba. He'd arrived with his mother. Uh, my father had just retired, and so I asked if he would come in working with the kids one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, when he came in, they kind of gravitated towards each other, and it was nice for Carol because um, having just left his country, knowing that, knowing that someone else was from there is kind of a, a nice attachment. And one day he come, the little fellow, and one thing that impressed me was that he showed respect. Respect for me, respect for the teacher, respect for the people. And I was surprised because he just came from Cuba. Well, it's the only people you respect is people in uniform. Why? Because they carry the gun. And the base of the Cuban education has communist ideas. The government just tries to um, blindfold us or brainwash us. The government tries to hide as much as they can about how communist they are, but people still get around the truth. Carol, I think, struggled at the beginning, but he found a way to get involved in school. He was very outgoing. He really tried to um, take advantage of as many things as he could. Now that I'm here in the United States, I feel like I'm a different person. I'm not the same kid that was running down the streets in Cuba. No idea what the future was holding for me over here. He's going to make it. I mean, no question about it. He's going to make it. Uh, because it's not only what he got in here, it's what he got in here.